When you taste one of past delights, I want you to taste the love. I want it to be the best cake or pie or cookie that you've ever had. I want you to always remember Pat's delights. I have a sweet tooth, so I love to bake. Looking back, I realized that I've always baked. Um, the kitchen is perhaps my favorite room in the house. It's just something very calming about being in the kitchen. So let me introduce you to my favorite dessert, and it's the pecan pie. In this bowl, I have three eggs. I have caro syrup. I have white sugar, vanilla, some butter. Now here's the real secret of what I do with my pecan pie. First, I roast the pecans. So I have pecans that are already roasted, that they came out the oven, they're roasted. I go through that whole batch of pecans and I pull out the whole pecan, the ones that are not broken. I place each pecan on the pie with tender, loving care. I go all the way around. Normally with pecan pies, you really can't eat a, a lot of it. You eat one piece and you're like, okay, I'm done. But I learned that by cutting the sugar some, that I was able to make a very enjoyable pecan pie. And then people started to like my pecan pie. I've converted non-pecan pie eaters to Pat's Delight's pecan pie. I always like to say that my desserts are made with a um, secret ingredient, which is love. Not only is this a carrot cake, this is the 14 carrot cake. It is like gold in your mouth. It has walnuts, pineapple, and coconut. So this is our coconut pecan cake. It's a secret recipe. And part of the secret is the syrup that is drenched in. And then it's garnished with toasted coconut and toasted pecans. And the holiday times and year round for Pets Delights, you must try the sweet potato pie. Pets Delight tastes like Christmas in your mouth. It is our delight to satisfy your dessert sensation. Past Delights is the title for my soon-to-come cookbook. I have a love of cookbooks. I collect cookbooks. I probably have over 600 cookbooks. When I first decided to start selling my desserts, um, a friend challenged me and she said, why don't you well, name the business? And the first thing that came to, to mind was Pat's Delights because again, it's things that I delight and there is nothing that I make that I do not enjoy. And I will only make desserts that I like because it's Pat's Delights. The recipes for Pat's Delights uh, come from many sources, uh, family, friends, anything that I like that I come across and then I tweak it. So today we're going to be making the wonderful red velvet cake. And you know, red velvet has to be eaten with cream cheese icing. So let's first begin with our ingredients. First, we're gonna do the wet ingredients. All right, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna put in the buttermilk. And then we have oil. I use vegetable oil. Get every last drop in there. And then we have eggs, two eggs. I'm just making one cake today, one three-layer cake. The eggs go in. And then we have vinegar. What vinegar does is it heightens the color of the red dye that's in red velvet. A little vanilla. And this is the magic, the red dye. So we're going to turn the mixer on and we're going to mix that up a little bit. All right, so as we're mixing, it's looking just the way I want it to look, nice and red. Now I'm going to throw in dry ingredients. I'm going to start with some baking soda. I do a three layer red velvet. And I just think a three layer cake is always beautiful better than a two layer. And now we're going to place our pans in our oven that's preheated to 350. And they will bake for approximately 15 minutes. So now here we have our red velvet all decorated. Okay, let's cut a slice and see what this really looks like inside. Down we go, all three layers. Nice, healthy slice. Are you ready? Every dessert that I make can go in a jar. So these are my dessert jars. This size is the eight ounce size and this is the three ounce size. They're great as party favors. This is something really comforting about eating the dessert out of the jar freezes very well, it ships very well. I've enjoyed the fact that I've evolved from pies to cakes 
than cookies. I didn't mention my daughter makes an amazing chocolate chip cookie. These are my daughter's famous chocolate chip cookies. They are absolutely delicious. It's become a family affair and it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. I was born in Jamaica, the West Indies. I came to the United States when I was 12 years old. Um, my parents came later in life. They wanted to have, um, they wanted me to have better opportunity in life. And, and I did. Um, I went to school. I went to State University of Buffalo. I have an industrial engineering degree. Yes. <laughs> and for some years after that, I worked for the telephone company. I designed uh, the cables. I brought dial tone to businesses and to homes. So I left the engineering world and um, started just doing other things. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. Um, but I also work in the um, school system. I work as a teacher assistant in a special ed classroom. Well, everything that God has given me, it's, it's for such a time as this. It's all for a purpose. So it's all of who I am, the engineer, the baker, the teacher. My faith plays a role in everything I do, who I am, absolutely. With God, all things are possible. Hi, Will, how are you? How are you doing? Good, good, here are the desserts. Oh, we have sweet potato pies. Coconut pecan cake? Yes. Oh, you almost out? Done. Oh my goodness, okay. Crazy. Awesome, awesome. Being able to service Paula's Cafe has been wonderful. Paula's Cafe, I, I want to believe, is the start of something big. The coconut pecan cake, they love it. It's unique, but they love the freshness. They can t actually taste the ingredients in, in her cakes, so they love her cakes. It, it feels good to uh, be partners with someone to take pride in what they do, because the customers love her cakes. It's so good, I can't believe it. Mm. Can I have a 14 carrot, carrot cake? Sure. I've heard it's really good. It, it makes me feel very good. It warms my heart. It really does. To know that I make something that someone loves and enjoys and, and keeps coming back for more. My vision for the future of Past Delights. So I, I see myself more accounts as Paul, like Paula's Cafe. And I see myself um, really looking to branch out into shipping more of the desserts so that more people can get them around the country. I want the world to know about Pat's Delights. Mm -hmm.